Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 13 and 14. Okay, so in the previous episode, um, sorry guys, uh, like if the noise is annoying, like this thing has been continuing for quite a while and like it's just like, you know, the construction that's going on. It's just beside my house and each and every day from like like this is continuing and I, I have to like you know <laughs> bear with it oh my god so freaking annoying anyways uh, so yeah uh, the previous episode uh, it was uh, episode number uh, 11 and 12 so yeah and in that episode in those episodes like uh, we got a little bit of the past uh, like how the second eruption o occurred and I was like under the impression that the eruption was some kind of an explosion or some kind of a, you know meteor hitting the earth or something <laughs> I don't know why like I thought it like I thought about it like that because you know like these are aliens so I thought maybe some kind of meteor came to the earth hit it and they're calling calling it the second impact you know second impact impact <laughs> like in that way I kind of thought about it but turns out it was not the case uh, weird stuff were happening in the like flashback like uh, a weird kind of uh, wing was like manifested and um, like weird screaming noises can be heard and those were the memories of Misato and uh, like how her dad sacrificed to save her and how she you know hated her dad but at the same time uh like in the end because of that like incident uh, she wanted to get um like a vengeance for her dad's death all of those stuff so yeah so like it got a lot of, like you know it got a lot of clearance in my mind and like i can kind of understand how like this happened like what this actual eruptions is like we've been hearing about these uh no not eruptions uh like we've been hearing about these like impacts uh the second impact and how they don't want a third impact to happen all of these stuff so like we can kind of understand what it actually is now even though like like what happened really didn't you know like we didn't get to know what actually happens after the eruption uh after the impact or like what the significance of it is but still like uh like it got a little bit of clear uh, like clearance so yeah so anyways uh without further ado let's get started with episode number 13 of neon genesis evangelion all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one, go. Okay. All right. also like one thing uh like i mentioned this before as well like misato's recklessness uh the reason behind that kind of came to light you know in the previous episode why she is kind of reckless in a way like you know how she wants to get like like unless and, and then, until she reaches the goal she kind of pushes herself and uh like all the others as well so yeah because of her past Oh, also another thing, uh, like Shinji's dad praised him. I forgot about that completely. Yeah, that's a big thing, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> self diagnostic mode. All right. Mother, what mother? What? Hmm. Okay. Oh, Shinji is also there? Oh, everyone is there. 17 Oh my god Well, that's not the problem here um... <laughs> Support your plug Harmonic stuff uh, Okay <laughs> Oh Hmm. <laughs> Always. Three hours. Wow, that's fast. Improved so quickly. It's a little different. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, they're collecting. Can you see the creator's personality? What? I brought a system up. The one who developed the tunnel that they the main print. Oh, oh, okay. So that's why she said mother. It's kind of funny. Get by sixty days. Okay, so everyone's doing maintenance stuff, you know. Oh, is that the? Oh, that's water leak. Protein wall. Whoa, so th that means like the place is made in, uh, you know, the framework of the whole thing. <laughs> it's like, you know, they're saying like protein wall and stuff like this. Oh, I'm guessing something bad is going to happen. Yeah. Contamination alert. Corrosion area of the problem. Oh, damn. Oh. 
oh my god polysomes wow they're like they're naming each and everything uh you know by the organic you know the organic uh the like chemical names of stuff okay let's see the protein walls and what oh wait what happened It's taking control of the Vangelion or something? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, um. Um. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. The angel is an angel is here or something? Wait, is this a new type of an angel? Oh my god, they're like virus. You know, like they're spreading. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, they're spreading like vi like a virus. Yeah, they're quarantining the place like so that it can't spread. Oh, they're keeping it uh, under wrap. Oh. Damn. Unit 1 has top priority. Oh boy. Mute one that means um, Shinji's, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so. Damn. Wow. Yeah, like what? What do you do, even do in this situation? Like this is not like an like typical angel. This is more like a virus, you know, not a virus, but some kind of uh, spreading type of a disease. High level of oxygen. Oh. Ozone is vented into. Oh, weakness to oxygen. Okay. So, hmm. All right. Uh, is that like will this be resolved so easily like i'm thinking oh my god did it adapt to it oh my god yeah it like you know adapted to it wow great yeah it's evolving wow
Oh, great. Fibno box. Wow. Okay, it. Is it the Adam? Oh my god. Oh, it's targeting the Magi. Okay. Okay, it's not even accepting that. Wow, great. Oh no. Oh! Reject. Oh my god, so it tried to self-destruct, but it does isn't even letting it like self-destruct. The second one is under attack now. Okay, stopped. Two hours, oh lord. Yeah. They're like a single unit working together. Hmm. Yeah, and it's evolving continuously, adapting to the situation. Hmm. Yeah. And let it pass, I think. Yeah, like, but... Yeah, like, what are they going to do then? What? It's by this evolution. Okay. Accelerate its evolution. All right. So. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's smart. Oh boy. Yeah, like all of it will be gone then. So this like this is like a like they have to do this otherwise it will be all be gone. Like they cannot ask for help from the headquarters and like all other complications. Is this the Magi? Like, one of it? Scribbles, oh. Damn. <laughs> huh. 
Ikari Yucha. What? Wait. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm guessing by Ikari, uh, it means like Shinji's dad. Oh. Personality transplant always. Visuals personality. Oh, okay. All right, okay. First of all. Hmm. Oh, okay. Is that so? Oh, so that's why she called it mother, like, you know, like when referring to the Magi before, like it has her personality. So technically. Yeah. Damn, look at it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, now it's going for Casper. Yes. Come on. 20 seconds. Eight. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not a zero, not a minus. Okay. Okay. Um, it worked, I'm guessing. Ooh, damn. <laughs> ah, there you go. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, so the angel, uh, the angel is like destroyed. I hope. <laughs> yeah, they're like sitting ducks, you know. Three aspects of herself. Herself as a scientist. Oh. Oh, wow. Slightly different. I was like, yeah, oh, no. oh, wow. Like, it's like 50 50. Pattern of her as a woman. Whoa. Oh. 
Okay, so... All right, so nothing much happened in this episode. This was just a little bit of, you know, um, problem that happened. And we got to know a little bit more of Ritsuko and her story. So that and like Shinji and <laughs> Shinji, Asuka and Rei had like no part in this uh, episode. Like they were just like, they had to like sit and do nothing. Like obviously because Evangelion were, they were like launched out. Uh, their safety first. Uh, especially like unit uh, one's safety was uh, like the most priority uh, according to Shinji's dad so yeah so I'm guessing like uh, unit one is special in a way um, which I don't know like which we kind of I think saw like you know in the first episode like Shinji's Evangelion itself started moving and like doing stuff and because of the good synchronized all right, that's the end. And because of the good synchronization rate between Shinji and the Evangelion, uh, it's quite valuable. So yeah. And okay, so yeah, as I was saying, so like that, this was like that episode. Uh, all right. So uh, one thing that um, Ritsuko said here was that here it is, like when she was uh, talking about her mom three aspects of the magi okay so here it is she intentionally left in the in the dilemmas of human experience all right so the programs are different and okay so what are the three aspects let me just check it again uh, herself as a scientist all right herself as a mother okay and herself as a woman now as Risco said she hated not hated but she respected um the scientist part of her mom because obviously she herself is a scientist and her mom was i'm guessing even a more amazing scientist than her like so that's why she respected her she liked you know that portion uh the portion of her as a mother she is unable to understand because you know she said that i doubt i'll become a mother so i do not understand that portion and the third portion of her as a woman she hated her so like as i said before it's like 50 50 you know like one portion she liked one portion she's neutral about and one portion she hated so yeah and i'm not actually sure what she meant by like leaving this you know human emotional dilemmas within the you know system because obviously like uh, like how do, like like you know this is like a program but she's talking about emotions like you know emotional things so how does that you know uh, like how is that even like possible in uh, AI which works on technology not emotions so I don't know maybe as she said like there are like slight differences in it how like each program worked so i'm guessing the way it worked kind of portrayed uh like her mother as a person as she said her mother's uh woman portion her mother's scientist portion and her mother's mom portion so i'm guessing uh how the programs differ and how they work kind of represents that so that's why she is you know saying that yeah like this is uh something that my mom did and my mom said that my like the three aspects of me has been ingrained in this like uh, like ai in this program in the magi so yeah uh, i don't they're going to elaborate on this thing because this is, I, I'm, I'm i'm guessing this is just a small it's like small little you know uh like backstory type of an episode and i doubt they're going to bring this up again in the future episodes but it was interesting you know seeing this and getting some new information on Ritsuko, who is kind of a side character, not a you know complete side character, uh, but kind of, because obviously she won't get as screen, much screen time as Misato uh, or like Shinji's dad gets. Uh, she's kind of in the you know in the sidelines. So yeah, it was good like seeing her story f for a little bit and 
otherwise nothing much to say um oh we also got to like you know uh, see like understand a few things like number one that is the naming uh, of the whole thing like they are naming it uh, according to you know organic uh, compound names for example protein wall and uh, i think there's another thing like polysomes or something i think that's also an organic term like organic I'm not quite sure uh, like i can kind of remember and recognize that term polysome uh ah yeah it's like uh, related to protein ribosomes and stuff like this that we like learned in biology so yeah polysome like I, I was thinking like where have i heard that before so yeah like they are naming these all according to organic compound names particularly like related to um proteins as they said like protein walls polysomes and i'm guessing there are more like such stuff so that's quite you know um, interesting to see like they are uh, naming it like that so all right and um also another thing we got to uh, know is how the <coughs> uh, magi is constructed uh like like it has three uh, like three compartments like uh, melchior uh, balthazar and casper now i think these are like names like related to some kind of just a sec um let me just check it you know uh melchior this one. yeah 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 okay here it is like saint melchior or melchior was purportedly purportedly one of the biblical mag magi along with Caspar and Balthazar who visited the infant Jesus after he was born oh wait just a sec oh these are the names of the you know the three uh, I think the, the three wise men they're called who gave gifts to Jesus Christ is that it like uh, Melchior, Caspar and Balthazar oh okay so I was thinking like uh, all right so these are the three wise men isn't it like they're called the three kings uh, it's written here all right so uh, that's why I kind of recognize the names so all right so like you know these are also um, like like these things are related to Christianity so okay all right that's another like you know reference from the um, bible okay a lot of things you know like uh, like the angels uh, and these names and i'm not sure like will there be even more like such things in the future episodes but okay uh okay so that was that and uh like uh, we get a little bit of information on how the magi works like you know these three compartments it has and it like works accord like uh like they kind of work independently i'm guessing but like comes to a decision together something like that and if like you know one uh, portion gets captured it transfers the leadership to another and it tries to self-destruct but like you know the angel stopped it like the the way the angel was like invading it the angel stopped the self-destruction so it was unable to self-destruct and all of those kind of things so i i don't know how they actually like resolve the situation but as far as like the technical stuff goes i think they said something like uh uh, Risco would uh, introduce a self-destruct program for the angel or something into the like you know the Caspar compartment so when the like you know the angel tries to uh, capture like uh, tries to uh, <coughs> take control over the uh, like the Caspar unit it will also you know take control of that self-destruct unit like destroying itself in the process so i think it was something like that how they like resolve the whole situation like they were like talking about a lot of technical things so yeah and i think like you know that was the best way to stop this you know, like because they were like viruses it was 
spreading so quickly so how to stop it just introduce a foreign element into that uh, like angel which will which will harm it if the angel swallows it it will destroy itself like that so yeah that was good and also like uh, they did not want this to be leaked to the headquarter you know like who knows what the headquarter will order if something like this gets leaked so yeah that and also uh, like uh, the Adam was like located in a portion where the angel was kind of targeting I'm guessing so like I had this feeling from uh, you know before but I think the angels are targeting you know uh, the Adam the Evangelion all of these things so that's why it always tries to you know get into the uh, like headquarters and you know there's this whole like drill thing uh, in one of the previous episode that was drilling down underground and trying to you know uh, get into the like farthest uh, core that thing and then there was another thing uh, a lot of like angels are trying to you know invade this uh, like uh, the headquarters so I'm guessing it's either targeting the Evangelion or the Adam either of it so yeah and that was it uh, that was this episode um, so yeah let's uh, you know let's get started with the next episode so, uh, so yeah guys, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 14 without further ado, uh, let's get started. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown, 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so what now? Like, you know, uh, I'm guessing they're doing their own research on the Adam. But like Shinji, uh, Asuka and Rei, they're like soldiers. They're just like, you know, like on standby. Uh, like, and they're waiting for the angels to attack so that they can defend the whole place. So other than that, they have no other role. The main thing that uh, like they are doing uh, like are the people you know in on command like for example Misato and um, Shinji's dad so they have work but you know Shinji Asuka and Rei they are just there for the defense oh wait actual attacks wait is this we saw this angel before didn't we yeah Wait, is this the first episode? We saw this angel before, didn't we? Except, oh, okay, this is the... Oh, this is the past they're showing. Nerve explains its first actual battle first. Perennial area damaged. Yeah, and then the, you know, the Evangelion starts, you know, working again, like, itself the damage we incurred was extensive the fact is that uh, no, uh, yeah deserving of special notice however the department of operations oh 
bitter battle that the Wow, the explosion. Moderately damaged. Yeah, then it comes back and. Oh. Oh, yeah, the. Wait, is this a flashback episode? Like, um, so. Arrives. Like they're all like this. I'm guessing the students They have written all of this uh, not written, but they are like narrating this Okay, I'm really not sure if this is like a flashback episode or like they're showing us all the flashbacks um, I'm not even sure if I should like you know if this is really in the flashback episode if I should react to it or not but let's just you know see nerve of things in the sample okay still in original shape uh, how the final report uh, yet to be fine fifth angle okay oh this one yeah this diamond thing and uh, this is when you know uh ramiel uh, this is when uh, like Shinji and uh, Rei kind of like teamed up. Yeah. And there, you know, the. The dead end part of the engine invades the geo front. Nerve decides to accident. Oh, that's Iron Army. Oh, okay, yeah, that we kind of, you know, know that it's not quite pessimism at all. Okay, then the sixth angel. All of the angels' names, you know, are Gagiel, are uh, like, I think, angels' name, yeah, obviously. Second, uh, Asuka is introduced here. First launch, both of them go, you know, kind of ride together. Okay, this is a flashback episode, I think. Like, uh, I'm going to react to this anyway because obviously I did not know that. Engagement of the Shore of Old Lot. Okay, so. Angel destroyed, alright. Third of its entire fleet. Third. Oh my god. Seventh angel. Wow, so many angels have come. Like, I didn't even notice, you know. It's, it's Raphael. Okay. Uh, first angel to dividing them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can kind of remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this thing. However, with the heavy similarity, 
यस या द कोर वॉज डिस्ट्रॉयड एंड लाइक द टीम वर्क यू नो दे डिड द होल टीम वर्क थिंग टूगेदर एंड दे बिकेम कंपेटेबल विथ ईच अदर देन द एथ एंजल एंड दिस इज द आई थिंक सांदल फोन या विद या द होल एडम सिचुएशन या वेर लाइक यू नो आस्का गोज इन हर सेल्फ एंड लेटर शिंजी कम्स इन एंड हेल्प सर Unfortunately the capture was uh you know was a failure the angel transformed wind way and yeah stuff happened operation objective to medal and yeah destroying the angel like aska uses science power here <laughs> using uh, i think the thermal expansion yeah and destroys it and shinji helps her out Restore some damage. Uh, modification complete. Okay, then back on duty. Uh, ninth angel. Oh, this thing. The spider thingy. Then comes the spider thingy, and I think uh, the bomber, bomber, uh, the bomber angel, that bombs the place. Yeah. In this episode, uh, I think it was uh, like uh, when three of them had to work together. You know, uh, there was no electricity. Yeah. It's a, it's a like you know the previous week I reacted to this angel destroyed and then comes the tenth angel uh, this one Sahakwil yeah through direct interception of by the three evangelians yeah. all right and after this uh, comes the uh, virus angel i'm not sure what its name is but the in the previous episode 11th angel okay what's his name facts concerning are currently unconfirmed <coughs> okay so from here i'm guessing it's an actual episode was in error <laughs> shinji's dad is like ah nothing like that happened what are you even saying hi ah uh, you think shinji's dad is scared of death i doubt it Death is cold. Huh. Oh wow! Great. Sailor script. Sailor throne of souls. Even the. Okay so this is not a complete uh, flashback episode all right This is race for it is it So many unneeded oh Human creation. Okay. Creation. Man, a human. Life and soul. I am a person. Uh, 
um what the hell is happening huh What? What the? Oh, th she's trying unit one. Unit <laughs> interchangeability test. Oh, it's the same. So she can, she can, you know, uh, control Shinji's unit as well. Oh my god, some weird stuff were happening before this, but all right. Subject, oh, now Asuka is going. Subject Shinji Ikari. Okay, so she he's riding a uh, race as Angelian now. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking. Exactly, I, like that's the reason why I was thinking, like, how is she going to react to? If it oh, wouldn't be interchangeable. Okay. Feels kind of odd. Okay. Think rate is oh, it's lower. What plan? Dummy system. Oh, what's that? Man, can can. Okay. Hmm. What? <laughs> yeah. Let's try to wait. What's happening? Oh, is he seeing Iron Amelius? Yeah. Oh my god, what the? Okay. Oh, the Evangelion is reacting to him. 
this is the same thing that happened in the first episode, didn't it? Like, you know, when Shinji got into uh, Unit 1 for the first time. Like, it also went out of control. Oh my god. It's rejecting her. Okay. Oh! Um, Ray, get out of the. Okay, um. Come on, quick. Okay, thank God. What? No, but this the same thing happened with Unit 1, didn't it? Before. But now they're all good. Like Ray and Unit 1 are all buddies. <laughs> For Ray's personality. What? What? Why? Damn, the same room, you know? Three twenty five minus. So. T24 one. Okay. Oh, she, he doesn't. Lance of Longinus. Ray is carrying out the hand. Oh, wait, a lot of things are happening. Oh, wait, that ends there? Okay, that was weird. So, a few steps, like, you know, a few things happened, uh, like, majority of which we don't have any answers of. Uh, first thing like uh, that, uh, that happened in the end when they were like talking about a few things like uh, how Sale is going to inter uh, like interfere and stuff like um, some kind of project, the lands of Longinus, and like uh, Ray has some kind of a mission. Like, all of these things, which we don't know what it's actually about. So, yeah, and like, I don't know, like, now, when, like in episode one, uh, Evangelion also, uh, like when Shinji wrote unit one for the first time, a similar thing happened, didn't it? So, okay, this is the end. A similar thing happened. So, like, 
I don't know. Like I, I thought maybe it's the same thing that happened in this episode. Like you know, like because Shinji was uh, getting into it for the first time, that's why it rejected him. But now, like Shinji and Unit One are pretty compatible. So like, so maybe that's not the case for Unit Two. Like as I said, that the Unit Two is like really trying to kill him. Oh, maybe. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. As far as I can remember, um, uh, in the first episode, uh, Unit One kind of went berserk, but it protected him. Change. Uh, so okay. So like, it did not try to kill him. Like you know, the, what's the like, like the vehicle or whatever you're riding. Uh, the first priority would for the vehicle would be the protection of the you know the pilot. Like that would be the first priority always and like every like any kind of vehicle that you get in evangelion is also a similar kind of thing so uh the pr most priority should have been like you know the safety of the pilot which evangelion one uh like unit one even though it went berserk shinji was safe but uh, in this episode they are like the same that uh unit uh, zero was trying to you know intentionally kill him I'm guessing in that way it's a failure. So it went berserk, but at the same time it tried to kill the pilot, which is definitely not something that you know, uh, like Evangelion should do. Like if, like, like if your own vehicle, like if the vehicle tries to kill you, the pilot, I think that's a major concern. So yeah. So okay. So so like Unit Zero is uh, only compatible to Ray. Okay, so and there's also something um, like some reason why unit 2 that is uh, Asuka's unit is also probably not compatible with someone else which uh, like what's her name like which Misato also kind of uh, like mentioned in this episode like when uh, Misato said that uh, like you don't want like to ask her, you don't want others to write your um like um like evangelion and you also don't want to write others evangelion don't you and asuka said that yeah and and after that like uh, misato also said that uh like it's not possible for that to happen in the first place so i'm guessing so it's really weird you know like so um so here's the thing ray can write shinji's evangelion it's no problem like synchronization rate is the same Okay, we still don't know. Obviously, we don't know what would happen if, uh, like, Ray tries to write Asuka's Evangelion. But I'm guessing that's not possible, as Misato said. All right, so, so oh, the only thing left is if Shinji tries to write uh, Ray's Evangelion, which was a failure. All right, and I'm guessing, like, Shinji, like... I think in one of the episodes, yeah, like uh, when Asuka was introduced uh, in that episode, like Shinji wrote uh, Asuka's Evangelion with her. So I'm guess and oh, also they said that uh, the synchronization rate is higher, you know, than it usually is. So I'm guessing it's fine in that way. I don't know. I'm sure we'll get the answers eventually, you know, and uh, yeah. Okay, so what else was in this episode? The majority of this episode was a flashback, so yeah, it kind of like you know reminded me of a few stuff that I kind of forgot. Uh, like, but yeah, it's all well and good. And uh, then comes uh, a weird section with Ray kind of saying a lot of weird stuff. Like, like she was talking like sun and unique object, water something comforting commander ikari flowers so many of the same and so many unneeded uh okay that's uh, um that statement is a little bit concerning you know like like if you see a field full of beautiful sunflowers and 
um, like you think that oh so many beautiful sunflowers I think majority of it is unneeded I think you have you know some kind of a problem in your thought pattern like is it just me or like I think that kind of means that yeah you should probably you know consult a doctor like if you suddenly say that like so many beautiful sunflowers are blooming and you see it and you say that ah oh, so many flowers most of them are unneeded <laughs> um all right so i'm guessing this kind of like you know reflects uh ray's um you know mental like how she looks at things okay red sky color red i hate the red color red obviously because red is blood's color i'm guessing water flowing blood the smell of blood a woman who never bleeds okay and i'm not sure what like what that means but a man made from red soil i also don't know what that means man made from man and woman okay that's usually how it happens city a human creation okay Eva a human creation now here's where, where it gets interesting what is a human a creation of god is man a human creation so yeah good question is man a creation of god or is man a creation of human so if a man is a creation of a human which is kind of correct then is the first person you, you know the first man the creation of god that means like you know uh, as they say like adam and eve like eve was created from as far as i know eve was created from i think a rib uh, like a rib uh, from adam like uh, eve was created from adam didn't wasn't he? I, I really do not know all of this stuff i have to check it out i don't know why i'm even checking this out like it's completely like has no relation with this you know episode but anyways oh great my internet is down wow i can't even check what the hell okay so it came back again oh, oh great um yeah here it is so eve was created by god by taking her from the rib of adam to be adam's companion so like in a way like eve was obviously eve, so eve was not created by Adam, Eve was created by God who took uh, Adam's rib, rib and created her to be Adam's companion. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, so like, the, like it's saying that is man a human creation? So technically man is a human creation, you know, because humans create more humans. But the question is, so if that is the case, then like, so is the uh, like first man, the first human, creation of God, which technically is according to the Bible, like Adam and Eve, according to that. So like as you know, like Adam was created by God as the first person. So okay, anyways, I uh, the things I possess are life and soul. All right, I am. A vessel for a soul okay vessel all right entry plug the throne for a soul entry plug as in the like evangelion's entry plug i think so yeah like thinking about it the entry plug is like the throne for the soul you know so wow it's like a really like interesting thing you know the evangelion like if it is the, like the whole evangelion is the you know outer shell the entry plug is the throne for that you know for a soul and the soul is the person who is getting into the evangelion you know for example when ishinji gets into the evangelion uh, a soul gets into the evangelion and evangelion like you know gets a new life or something like that wow uh, who is this this is me uh, and then we see a lot of rays and you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of the previous statement that she said you know when she said that uh, sunflowers like a lot of sunflowers are blooming uh, most of them are unneeded like it's like the same thing we're seeing like at that moment we were seeing a lot of you know uh, sunflowers but in this uh, like scene we're seeing a lot of rays at the same place okay uh, 
uh, who am I what am I what am I what am I what am I and we see a lot of rays I am myself this object is me the form that shapes me the form that shapes me okay so she's saying that uh, this is a form that makes me this is the me that can be seen yet I feel as though I am not myself hmm. okay uh, very strange it feel as I feel as if my body is melting I can no longer see myself my shape is fading I feel the presence of someone who is not me is someone there beyond this Ikari okay I'm, I'm guessing she's like uh, like saying that uh, I feel someone else's presence which uh, I think the reason why she felt that is because she is in Shinji's Evangelion so okay so here's the thing she remembers Ikari you know she can recognize Ikari she says that Ikari and then I know this person Major Katsuragi she also knows her Dr. Akagi okay Me, okay here's the thing everyone so she doesn't know the name of the two friends which I also don't remember <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> and then she says classmate while looking at the you know class uh, like representative who is Asuka's friend the pilot of unit 02 she also doesn't you know uh, like know the name of Asuka or she doesn't bother to remember her name either of it I think it's probably the latter one you know because they have interacted a lot of times but uh, like so she is more like uh, you know like as like we kind of knew from the beginning that she doesn't really care about a, you know like a lot, lot of people you know like she doesn't care about uh, others like in, not in that sense like in, not in that way I'm, I'm talking about I'm saying that she is kind of stoic she really doesn't like she's uh, within herself she keeps to herself and doesn't really <clears throat> like try to remember people and uh, like try to you know uh, actively like keep in mind other people's names only the people she really you know um, thinks like not thinks about but she really interacted with she is comfortable with but she and she like uh, likes like in, in a simple word uh, she only tries to remember their name uh, this like happened after like Ikari like uh, Shinji interacted with her and she like you know showed her genuine smile to him so I'm guessing she you know like considers Shinji as a good friend uh, as a person who is deserving of like you know her uh, remembering her his name uh, and so that's why she, she remembers Shinji's name and obviously Katsuragi that is like uh, Misato she remembers her because she is you know her superior kind of in a way and Rizko also in, in a similar manner but the uh, like the classmates and the friends she doesn't remember them uh, or she doesn't like know their name and also the pilot of unit 02 which i think she doesn't even like you know like she doesn't want like she this name has still not registered in her head okay so and then comes uh, the main thing command commander ikari now i think like obviously from the previous episode like we saw that she and like shinji's dad have this weird kind of uh, you know um like uh, like chemistry i don't know what it actually is but like uh, so yeah that's why like obviously she knows his name uh, like ikari commander ikari she recognizes her uh, recognizes him and then she says who are you who are you okay now here it is like we are seeing an evangelion in this like scene uh, which I think is Asuka's unit isn't it it's red color and we've already like you know we have seen this uh, same Evangelion uh, in a f like previous episodes before uh, like when Shinji kind of you know became berserk there was this kind of a shadow of this thing and like Shinji also kind of uh, saw this uh, Evangelion's face who are you yeah so okay so this like i really wanted to you know kind of like see what actually happened here 
Okay, another thing I really want to check out is when Shinji kind of started going berserk. <coughs> okay, also, also here, uh, this is another thing that I want to check out. Like, okay, Misato says that Evangelion Unit 02 definitely wouldn't be interchangeable. Okay, so yeah, I kind of heard that correct. So Evangelion 02, like, obviously Asuka doesn't want anyone to get into that. But uh, like, even without that, it would be not interchangeable according to Misato. I'm not sure sure why, but there must be some kind of reason. Okay, so let me just check out that portion again. When Shinji kind of starts seeing weird things. Here it is. Uh, something's trying to get directly into my brain. Um, okay, so he starts first the thing that she, he sees it's Ayanami and the different like you know uh, the way like Ayanami was injured and everything all the past things that the impression is Ayanami Ray isn't it and then he sees uh, Ray kind of standing in the middle of the road and then she disappears again isn't it her and then Ray kind of makes a weird face and she, the Evangelion goes berserk now now here's the thing you know like if the evangelion like unit zero really wanted to kill shinji why didn't it start try to kill him from the beginning you know like uh, like he was kind of sitting there for a moment and then suddenly like after he gets these visions it starts trying to kill him so that's a like a question that i have i'm not sure why but anyways um also another weird thing is here like when the Evangelion starts punching the whole thing and uh, where it is oh god like okay where the hell is it is that portion like this go kind of says that it's trying to kill me what was that about like um I don't know like it's a weird thing to say you know like it was trying to kill me <sighs> okay here it is okay i found the place the person you need zero wanted to hit was me i'm sure of it <sighs> i really am not okay and then like they start like like you know discussing about a few other stuff uh like the lance of longinus yes the adam project uh lance of longinus all of these stuff and then ray is kind of carrying out the operation and then we see ray kind of going somewhere um okay a lot of mysteries so yeah so that's it like uh, okay a lot of time has gone uh, so yeah i'll end this here so this was uh evangelion uh neo genesis evangelion episode number um what was this 14 yeah episode number 14 so yeah <coughs> a lot of new questions came out uh, which i'm sure will get answers eventually and uh, so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was uh neo genesis evangelion episode number 14 so yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you're not or you haven't and comment down below anything you want to say or anything in general. I'll be sure to check them out. So yeah guys, uh, I'll be back with another two episodes of Neon Genesis Evangelion next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.